Hi, I'm Danny from Retro Camera Review, and today I wanted to share with you my perspective on modern 35mm SLRs versus your older traditional kinds. If you're a student and you're looking to get one of these kinds of cameras, I wanted to share with you some of the pros and cons of both kinds of cameras. So here's the scoop on what's great about these modern 35mm. The great thing is that despite being a newer camera, they're actually a lot cheaper. This camera body only cost me $20. And the reason for that is because it looks like it's made out of plastic and aesthetically, why would you buy a camera made out of plastic when you could get this beefy metal camera? I mean, I would go for this too if I was going just on looks. But, like a book, it's what's on the inside that counts. This camera really represents the zenith of still photography in 35mm. They had been making 35mm SLRs since about 1928, so it's been almost a century that they've had to improve the camera from trial and error. As you can see, it's got a threadless winding system. So all you have to do is put your film in and bring it over to the receiving side and close the back. It's gonna automatically wind your film. It's a lot faster than the older style cameras where you have to actually put it in the cogs and get it just right to wind it. And if you look at the back of the camera, you'll see that actually there's really no foam anywhere on the lining in here. And the reason for that is because they were actually able to design the camera so that it doesn't need the light tight foam versus your older camera where it's gonna have the foam probably peeling out if you buy an old one on eBay. So it's one less thing to worry about. Now one of the strengths of the old cameras is their viewfinder, and this is a pretty big one. They generally come with a 0.86 to 0.9 magnification and a clear focusing mechanism, like a cat's eye. The new cameras, however, have about a 0.7 magnification and no focusing mechanism. So it's really just up to your eye looking through this tiny screen to see whether you've got something in focus or not. Another thing I like about the old cameras is the on-camera shutter dial and lens f-stop. It's, it's intuitive and it's fast. Whereas with the modern camera, you have to go through the menu to change your f-stop and shutter speed. However, it's fairly fast once you get used to it and most digital cameras use this technology nowadays, so I've just decided to get used to it. So to sum up some of the pros and cons, your modern 35 millimeter SLR is gonna be cheaper. The glass is gonna go on your new cameras. Just the viewfinder's kinda crappy. Whereas with the old cameras, your viewfinder is excellent. However, you're gonna to have to pay more and your glass is not necessarily gonna be forwards compatible. So with this knowledge, I think you could probably make a better decision about what you wanna get. My choice was actually the 35 millimeter, just because I like to save money and it's more convenient to shoot with. So that's it. If you have a camera you'd like us to review or one we could borrow, just drop us a line and we'll let you know how you can help.